Hey everybody, bad news, the background audio track, uh, the track that has all the game sounds and the game music and stuff for this episode of the Let's Play was corrupted, and so I don't have that anymore. I've gone ahead and layered some tracks from the OST in the background to try to kind of replicate what the experience was, but it won't match up perfectly like during the uh, the actual gameplay and whatnot. Sorry about that. I hope you guys still enjoy the video, and thanks very much for watching. Hey everybody, Dylan here, and we are back with another episode of Pyre. We are here at the spring of Jamuer, getting ready to go into our third round of the rights. But first, we're going to go shopping. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, how's it going, Mr. Greentail? Been a while and all that. Hey, Ron. It's going. Say, how come you've set up shop all the way out here? Isn't this a little out of the way? Oh, well, let's just say you guys, you ain't my only customers. You see, Dad and I, we know this business pretty good. We've been around the block, so... As Ron keeps blathering, Ruki signals to you in a furtive way. Here's the deal, sister. Got an informant says there's something here connected to this rights business. See if you can spot it. Should be able to pawn off some of our stuff to make the trade. And uh, don't even worry about Falcon Ron. He's a traveling sales creature and proprietor of the downside slug market. So anyways, you guys got something for me or what? That uh, black bloom you got there, I could take it off your paws if you want. Well, I guess we're gonna sell this. We have 30 money now. <laughs> hey, you know, I'll take it, Mr. Greentail, though you drive a pretty hard bargain. Uh, you gonna take something off my hands here or what? Want moon? Oh, these are all way more expensive, so yes, that's the only one I have. Purchase moon crest for 20 soul. That's a one of a kind finger you just got there, you know, and you got yourself a real good deal from me as well, so thanks. Push to the roster to equip the talisman. Apparently, any one of us bozos can get a little edge out of that thing during the rites, I mean. Just a question of who gets to try it out. Decide who shall wield it. Uh, it's gonna be Ruki, actually. Anyway, Dad over here, his feet, you know, we've been having some trouble with his feet getting real something or other from all the hoofing around, and so you see... Ruki indicates to you that now would be a good time to depart. So we shall. See ya, Mr. Greentail, and your friend there too. I like her. Seems real nice, you know. Alright. Well, guess there's no more fucking around. Commence the right. As you pre complete preparations for the rights to commence, you notice Faye approaching. You notice, too, that she is wearing your companion's remnants. Can we go home? Faye. I thought I made myself quite clear that you were not to touch those robes. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Tradarial. I just thought that maybe you were being funny at the time. Unbelievable. Hey, uh, something hap something's happening in the sky. I think we're up. All right, am I going to have to use Faye here instead of, uh, instead of main fella whose name I cannot remember all of a sudden? It'll be interesting. Headwind. Is that Headwind? I feel like it's Headwind. Reader, what brings the spring you to the spring of Jomyar? I said it wrong. Why, it must have been no shit, stars. it was the stars. You gave me a book, you idiot. Although it seems that your triumvirate now numbers four exiles, not the expected three. Oh. The rules of the rites were not created for you to bespeak. Prepare now to confront the fate. Uh -oh. They still honor the traditions of the scribes and surely have been longing for this. Well, I chance. wish them the best of luck, but um but first, you oh, I gotta pick which of my guys I'm gonna take. The sky burns bright once more as your next adversaries in the rites approach. Their apparent leader is a bent old cur who regards you with a formal bow. Side is an intense young man. 
I hail you, exiles of the Night Wings, and am grateful that you chose to grace us with your presence once again. I am called Dalbert Oldheart, and this is my son, Almer. Yo, we need not greet them, father. We shall face you in the field this night, and may the victor's pyre burn eternal. But first we offer you a good f- a token of good faith, in show of appreciation that the Nightwings have returned. Dalbert approaches you with something in his paw. You sense his motives are sincere as he hands you a small talisman. You receive a Tailwind Crest. Wow, that's a fucking useful thing. That Kerr was very kind, and his son, he was so caring, wasn't he? When we start, when can we start? I want to help you beat them. We need, we need exactly three of us to conduct a right, but we got four now besides the reader. This ought to be her call. Why does it make think I'm a lady now? Anyway, this ought to be her call. If someone has to stand aside this time, I volunteer. No volunteering, chump. It ought to be the reader's call, remember? Very well then, reader. Who shall it be? We'll choose three exiles to conduct each right. Okay. Well, let's see what what's Faye got going on. Oh, uh, Faye is like a slightly quicker and slightly smaller version of Headwind. And I can give someone plus two quickness. So she kind of replaces Ruki, except... Wow. Yeah, I definitely... I want to use her. I want to use her over Ruki. And we'll use her as she's like our backliner. Alright, so we're going to take Headwind. What? You didn't have to do this, but I'll do my best. Sorry, y'all. As you will. And like at this point, she's like a almost a strictly better version of Ruki. Like with that token on, she's got 19 quickness, but she has 20 glory, better presence, and only slightly worse hope. Better the fate. Main guys have kind of a standard cur. He's kind of a beat ass. And he's like a tank guy. And so we'll just keep our standard well-rounded team, I think. Me? Oh, me? Thank you. Thank you for believing me. Because I think the scribes do too. Well, look at you, chum, making the tough calls. Fine, whatever. I'll sit out. Night wings! I trust you are all well prepared for these old eyes, yet see that the rites shall be commencing momentarily. Are you quite ready too, my son? I hope so, father. Here, now let me show you. Oh, um, what are the controls to this game? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Sp space to, to... Wait. Oh, my... Okay. Okay, alright. That's how we do it. I remember now. It's uh, sprinting that I don't remember how to what to do. Q, it's Q. All right, Get the fuck out of here. Got it. So she doesn't have the sprint that Ruki does. That's what makes her uh, a little bit less useful. gonna try to throw it in but look forth my son the waters of John where many main bring blessings unto us this eve perhaps our chance has come at last 
Next to the eight scribes of the Book of Rights, known as the Brave or the Alpha Chief. We need more than blessings to prevail against them, Father. Please keep fighting. What is that? Collect moon drops? I mean, I'll do it. Oh, damn. My bad. And Jadariel, you're gonna take like a strictly defensive, I think. Okay, so she has sprint as well, it just has kind of a wind up. Yeah. There we go. They threw it in and got the full 20. I guess it was, uh, it's accuracy. Move you here. Oof, just fucking moon dropped my way in there. All right, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. Need to wait so I can fulfill this uh, alternative objective here. Centers. He jumped in. Backs against the storm. The timid and the bold. The keep each other. Got a baby. Good job, head one. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Swag in, swag in. Yeah. Why are you fucking, why are you always shit-talking me, mysterious voice? We did it. Indeed. I wonder what will happen to the fate. They seemed so nice, didn't they? Exiles of the Nightwings! The dawn is yours and may you earn your freedom. But father, the dawn might have been ours. We failed and I failed you. Nonsense. We have a fate. We do what is ordained and nothing less. Now let us go, my son, for I am weary once again. Damn right. Hey, rank two headwind now. I think I'm beginning to understand something of all this, my friend. Uh, so he can do more stamina, or everyone can regenerate stamina faster. He and his allies pass and move move with and pass the orb more quickly. Oof. So this is like a, a leadership thing. Um, heal us when he scores. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Okay. Yeah, so Rookie still got half the value, which is nice. Um, hello, excuse me? I mean, you would you excuse me for a moment, do you think? You, you're, you're one of them. What do you want? Father needs me. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm, I'm so embarrassed, I... What is the matter with you? It's against the rights for us to even speak like this. Um, I didn't know that, I don't think. No one said anything like that to me, but then all this, it's very new to me, and so I thought maybe... You cannot be serious. Yes, I mean, I like to laugh, I like to laugh a lot, and you, uh, how about you? 
This is a Nightwing's trick. Father told me not to speak with any of you. But I just... I have to go. Wait, Almer, wait, I think that was your name? Was that even your name? Hey. Oh, Faye. Hmm. That was really sad. So bad for Faye. This... Poor Faye. Alright, well, here we are. Guess we're gonna do stuff now? As you return to the wagon, as you return to the wagon after thwarting the fate, you notice Jadariel sit tense up and frowned. Where did he go? Ooh, well, wait, uh, the sleeping guy? The minstrel. He's gone. See, it is true. There's no trace of the lone minstrel who had been lying still in the corner of the wagon all this time. You join the others and search for him outside. Your fellow exiles have revealed nothing to you of the lone minstrel or how they found him, though you sense their concern as they scour the vicinity for him. We'll worry about the minstrel, my friend. You worry about the stars. Wherever they guide us, we're going. Gaze upon the stars once more and seek out my destination. Scorpus the Olden Star. Nope. Owl the Midnight Star. This midnight star burns bright over the standing stones at the edge of flagging hands. Whoa! Spooky scale of man dreadlocks guy! Everyone, we're headed back east all the way across the valley. Towards the cairn of Hoob, then. And the accursed imp here filed, filled the mighty bone titan's shack's sick shoulders. That's right, we have to risk it. But what if that uh, minstrel guy doesn't turn up by then? We shall find him on this night or another. They continue searching for some time. However, minstrel is nowhere to be found. And uh, we'll leave it off. Actually, we'll, we'll do the black wagon real quick. Ruki's probably pissed off at me. After having the vanquish the fate almost effortlessly last night, you find Ruki off on his own. You sense he wants to talk about your decision to exclude him from conducting the rite. Well, look at what we have here, if it isn't my good sister. Oh, yeah, I'm mad. You bet I'm mad. Wait, kind of headwind that. Oh, yeah, you, you bet I'm mad. Uh, who wouldn't be if they don't get to run around in the cold wearing old robes? Good thing the others managed to scrape by without my help. He complains like this for some time and then... Okay, it's out of my system now. I'm off for a quick walk, know what I mean? He departs to check on things outside. You sense that he no longer has misgivings about what transpired and is more concerned at present about the missing minstrel. Oh, that's a really healthy way to handle your problems, Rookie. Hey, that was good. Okay, well, we'll see you guys all next time. Uh, take it easy. Bye-bye.